Greetings, fellow traveling. Today, I would like to remind you that experience is the best teacher. We can know of, and we can know about many things. But once we have experience, then we can understand the inside and the outside of the ideas that we have. This is interesting because you begin to change perspectives as you gain experience. You begin to not get caught up in the appearance of something, but you understand the function of something. It's almost a dance between form and function. There was a phrase growing up of fake it till you make it, where you appear to be something that you're not until you truly believe it. And that is, that's working from the outside in. That's starting with the form of something, wanting to appear to have the form or take the form of something. And for some that appear to work, but then you have the function, the inner workings, the understanding of how the thing comes into its form. That's your experience. As we go through this journey of life, that is the experience that we gather operating from a belief system that is within us. And when we connect or make choices to live out and express said beliefs, we operate with the same functionality. In the outside world, we witness the form, the appearance of that expression coming outside of us. It's not always what we want. It's not always a uh, welcoming expression. It's not always beautiful, but that's fine. It's about stepping into the experiences that we have, being accountable for the choices that we make, and knowing that we can always make a different choice. I was told that there was a point in time where you can make a choice and that's who you were or what you did for the rest of your life. I would like to believe that. However, I've come to see that along my journey, life has an interesting way of broadening your perspective, whether you fight against it or not. Sometimes it makes, sometimes it inspires us to hold on to certain, certain beliefs or ideas a lot more. And other times it helps us let go. It helps us understand that what will be will be. There is only so much we can control in this reality. So taking time to understand the value of our experiences allows us to appreciate the choices that we do or do not make. It allows us to see ourselves in a different light. It allows us to embrace those things that we are proud of and also embrace the things that we're not so proud of. And this is grace. It allows us to experience judgment in order to know judgment. It allows us to experience joy in order to know joy. And as we go along, we all have our own ideas of what life should or should not be. 
But I am of the belief that one of the most amazing aspects of this reality is that we all have the choice to determine what life is for us. No one else may get it. That's something that we all must come to terms with. Because no matter the degree of different perspectives, we all are uniquely created in the eyes of God, the universe, what have you. Oh, excuse me. And in knowing this, the power of choice cannot be duplicated by anyone. So if there are things that you want to experience in your life, there are things that you would like to acquire or things that you would like to witness in your life. Embrace the idea. Embrace the idea that you do have that choice. And you need no one else's approval. Embrace the idea that others may never get it. But you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for self. More importantly, understand that your choice is going to spark an inspiration within you. And that inspiration is what carries you through faith, through devotion, whatever else your spirit needs to allow you to experience what that choice means. You will learn the function, the inner workings of yourself and of that experience. And the outcome will be the form in which you saw for yourself. It's going to broaden your perspective. It's going to limit your perspective. But don't get caught up in the form of things, people, ideas outside of you. Make the choices for yourself and experience it for yourself. That's the only way that we can truly appreciate this thing that we call life. Living vicariously through others, it has its limits. Go see for yourself. Go enjoy the process, the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, the wins, the losses. Experience it for yourself. And only in doing so can you find out more about who you truly are. Because no matter what, we have choices. Even if we want to deny those choices. So live your life. But trust in who you are. Trust in your authority. Trust in whatever creator you believe in. And know that regardless of what happens, experience is ultimately all we have. That is life. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile. Okay.